Hey, what's up? This is Phil Ebener with VideoSchoolOnline.com bringing you a lower thirds tutorial. Sometimes when I need a little inspiration, I head over to VideoHive.net, which is a great resource when you want to purchase you know, After Effects templates, motion graphic files, effects, different things like that. Um, but often, I'll just go over there and get inspiration and then create the effect myself. So I found one of the popular lower thirds, this clean lower thirds graphic. And you can see here it has a few different styles. And I wanted to create it, so I did on my own. And I'm going to show you how to make ba this basic motion right here at the start. And then also this second one that comes out with the, you know, more information line down there. So one more time, let's just watch through it. You know, it pops out, and then the whole line with the text pops out, and then the line underneath pops out. So something like that, very similar, is what we're going to do. So I'm in After Effects, and the first thing I'm going to do is, while well, I started a new composition, so 10 seconds is fine, 1920 by 1080, great. Then I'm going to, uh, in my composition, I'm going to create a new layer solid or command Y if you're using a Mac. Uh, for this one we'll actually use a black solid and then I'm going to turn off the transparency of the background. So if I click that and now if I click the eyeball over here on this black solid layer then I have a transparent background. Before it was all black but since I added this black solid background or this black solid, I want to be able to see where it is. So then up here, click on the shape tool and then use the rectangle tool to click and drag. Oops, while you are selecting this black solid, click and drag a black bar where your text is going to go. So something like that. Okay, and then, so this is going to be our basic bar that comes out. And then we're going to create you know, those other parts of the bar, so this red line, this white line, and this red line, we're going to add those to it. So what we can do is duplicate this layer just by pressing Command D, that duplicates it, and then press Command Shift Y. If you're using a PC, whenever I say Command, use Control, and then change the color to, say, this red, okay? Now if you double click the kind of edge of it, uh, the mask will turn into this gray rectangle. And then you can just easily slide it up and down. And we're going to make that little, that red tri triangle right there. Something like that. Okay? Then we're going to duplicate this red solid. And then Command Shift Y to change the solid settings to white. Just click OK, click New. And again, double click the edge of this and then bring that in to create this white bar. So, yep, we got that white bar. And then I'm just going to duplicate this and then drag it to the end. And you can see that I'm easily shifting it, moving it left and right without moving it up and down by holding shift. If I wasn't holding shift down on the keyboard and I was moving it left or right, it would be hard to align it like that. So I'm just going to move it to the very end of that black bar. Okay, so now we have to parent a couple of things. I'm basically going to glue different layers to one another. And so it might help to color different layers different ways. So this black solid, and this white bar at the end, I'm going to put together on the in your timeline down here. Then I'm going to select both and just change the color to yellow. So I know that this is one sort of segment that I want to pair together. And then this red and white bar are one segment that I want to pair together. Because as you saw in this animation, the red bar and the white bar came out together and then the black and the red came out together. To parent these items, to glue them to one another, so you just use this parent option and then this you click and drag this twirly gig thing, I don't know what to call it, 
down to whatever layer you want to parent to, or you can use the drop down menu. But I find just clicking and dragging is easy. So for example, I have this white solid. I want to pair it to the black solid, so I'm just going to click and drag it to the black solid. And now it shows you it's parented to layer number four black solid. Now guess what? For this white solid, I'm going to do that, but to the red solid. So parent it there. So now if I move the red solid, see that? Now the, the white bar moves with it. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to turn on the transparency grid uh, or turn it off rather, but now I'm going to create a new s solid just in the background so that we can kind of see. So say you had like a blue background. So this is just for example, just to have a background. And I'm just going to lock this background so we don't have to deal with it. Okay, so um, going into this further, we're going to add our text. So our title, so you know, just click your text, create your title, you know, I'll do video school online.com. And then I'm just going to change the color to white using our character panel. Helvetica, that's fine, the font for now. And then I'm just going to put it there. And I don't want to stroke on this actually. So you could put it, you know, I would put it, since this is coming out from the left side of the screen, I would put the lower third towards the right side of this bar. And one thing we might want to do is actually make this black solid a little transparent. So press T to bring up the opacity and then drop it down to like 50 or something. That might look like kind of nice, especially if there's, you know, it's over a video. So now, then I'm just going to move this video school online text right above the white solid. I'm going to change the color of this strip to yellow so it matches this, our black solid. And then I'm going to parent it to the black solid. Okay, so you get that. So now if I move the black solid anywhere, the text moves as well. So now we have to create the motion for this. So basically what we're going to be doing is moving the black bar, well first the red bar out, and then the black bar. But since this is kind of our final position, I'm going to set keyframes for this position. So go to, you know, wherever, about one and a half seconds, press P, to bring up the position, func uh, position function for the red solid and just click the stopwatch, which will set a keyframe there. That's telling After Effects that at this point in time, we want the red solid with the parented white bar to be at this position. Now for the black solid, do the same, press P, bring up the position function, and then click it and create that keyframe. Now go back in time, you know, about half a second or so, and now for the red bar, move it off the screen. And then same for the white, the black bar, move it off the screen. But now they're coming on at the same time, so we don't want that. We want the red bar to come on screen before the black bar, but now you kind of see the basic motion. So we're gonna select both these, red, these keyframes on the red layer and slide them over. So it should come out just before the black starts coming out. So see how I overlap the keyframes a little bit, but so now if I render it, do a RAM preview by pressing zero on my keyboard, you get this motion. But now you can see that the timing isn't correct. The red is coming out really slow. So I'm going to take the second keyframe and move it forward so it's kind of faster. And then take the black keyframes and move them forward to match up with the red motion. And then I'm going to select all keyframes, right click them, go to keyframe assistant and do easy ease. And this basically eases the motion into and out of the keyframes. And it feels and looks a little bit more natural. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. The video school online part, this comes out a little too fast, so I'm just going to take the second keyframe and stretch it out so it's a little bit longer. And then maybe move them up a little bit because I don't like how the red comes out, it stops completely, and then there's a few seconds or a few frames before you start seeing the second motion. So I'm just going to move these two keyframes 
over a few frames. So it'll start coming out just a frame or two after. Something like that. That's looking really good. Another thing we can do to make this look a little bit more natural is create motion blur with it. So under this motion blur checkbox thing with the three circles or four circles, check all the boxes for all of these layers and then click this big enable motion blur icon. So now it's blurred and it looks a little bit more natural. And so that's the basic that's the basic uh, motion and shapes for this lower third. Now to do the same thing for the bottom more information tab, we're just going to create a new layer. So press command Y and we'll do, I forget what they have on their lower third here. It looks like it's all red with a white bar. So we're just gonna create that red bar Actually, just make sure I have the same red bar, so use the eyedropper to select this red. And then I'm going to put it behind this stuff so I can kind of see where I want to go. And then use the rectangle tool, again, to create a mask, like so. And then I'm going to change the color of this layer to something different so I can differentiate it, duplicate it, and then press Command Shift Y to change the color to white. And then double click the edge of it and create that small little triangle or rectangle at the end of this bar. And then parent this white bar to the red bar. I'm going really fast over this, but I think you'll get the picture now. Now I'm just going to move this red bar up a little, and you'll know since the white bar is parented to it, it moves with it. And then I'm going to, I can just duplicate this text, the video school online text, move it down and change the color so that we are organized. And then I'm just gonna move it down here, but I'm gonna change the parent to the red layer down here. And then change the text, you know, whatever you wanna write make it a little bit smaller because you know the more information bar underneath your lower third usually has smaller text and then just create the motion so right now I don't I can kinda eyeball when these two things pop up but to get a better view just select all of your layers by command A and then press U to bring up all keyframes so now I know that the black bar comes out exactly at this keyframe and I think I'll start the cool videos lower third bar coming out right around there too. So just press select that layer, press P to bring up position, set a keyframe. I'm just going to move this keyframe forward a little bit. So now if I just drag this to the left off the screen, you'll notice a keyframe is automatically made. And that's because there was a keyframe on this layer that I had just created but I had moved forward in time. So then I'm just going to right click, select Easy Ease. Looks pretty good. Just going to add this motion blur to it. And it looks good. I can even, you know, move these keyframes to the left a little bit so that the motion starts, you know, just as the top bar is ending. But there you have it, a great lower third. I just want to see something really quickly. So if I go in 100%, then press H to bring up my hand so I can move my composition around, you'll notice there's a faint black line around this red bar. And that's because this black shape is kind of showing up around the edge of this. So what I'm going to do is just make this ever so slightly bigger. I'm just going to really zoom into this. Uh, that might be too much. So then just increase the size of this red bar and even this white bar, I'm going to do the same thing. So double clicking and then dragging. And now if we look at it from out here, now you don't really see that black bar coming behind it. I'm very much a perfectionist. 
So there you have it. Now you can add these to your videos, uh, change the text or whatever to whatever you want. And you didn't have to pay the $12 that you could have, you had to pay for this set of lower thirds. You know, all these other basic motions, you know, this first one is basically, well, obviously the same. The second one is exactly what we did. And even the third one, um, I forget exactly what it looks like, but it's just using the same sort of method. It's just using masks and, and shapes to make things appear. So if you have any lower thirds that you see on Video Hive that you're wondering how they made, send them over to me and maybe I can do a quick tutorial to show you how to do them um, so that you don't have to spend your money making or just buying lower thirds. It's better to learn and it's more fun too. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out videoschoolonline.com for more great blog articles, videos, courses, and more. And subscribe, uh, share, like, and comment on the video below to show me a little bit of appreciation for the work I put into this video. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.